Anvil, Aerospace, Terrapin. Too long, didn't watch. It's a slow, tough ship with who knows what for weapons and capabilities that's supposed to be a whack for the UEE Navy. Sig is asking about 200 USD for your pledge for it. I don't recommend this ship. Uh, what is a Terrapin? Well, Google had this to say. A small edible turtle found on the coastal marshes of the eastern U.S. My first problem with this ship is its name. I would have called it the Anvil Aerospace Coffin after reading through both QAs. The stats for the ship. In size, it's about the same size as the Aegis Avenger, just a little bit fatter. Uh, cargo? Well, whatever you can shove through the doors and in your pockets. Weapons? Well, we don't know. Uh, we do have the comforting phrase, advanced hard-hitting array of weapons, so you can expect a couple of M4A lasers on a turret. Uh, no missiles to speak of. As for armor and shields, it's stated in the QA that the Terrapin will have the shields of a much larger ship, maybe mounting a shield system of a Freelancer or a Constellation equivalent. It was stated as heavy armor makes it more resilient to harm if surprised than a lighter ship would be same situation. They also stated there is going to be no ejection system mounted in this ship, so if you get into trouble, you're going to die in the thing. That's why you should just call it the coffin. There's no modularity or variance planned at the moment. Uh, they teased the potential for squeezing in some jump sheets during the modeling, so there's that. We do know the lore reasons for the ship to exist. Uh, Spaceborne early warning controls, similar to modern AWAC systems. Uh, player character role that SIG is pushing is exploration. There are some, in my opinion, some serious drawbacks to this ship. Since missiles and torpedoes are a thing and it's expected to be slow, you're going to need a lot of missiles and maybe some smaller torpedoes. Uh, QA proposed an unmanned turret with two S2 weapon mounts on it. Uh, you're not going to be much of a threat with that firepower. Most dedicated combat vessels will just run circles around you and then slower vessels will probably have more shields than you can chew through. Um, I have to keep bringing up no missiles. It just doesn't have any missiles. Uh, power system management has been stated to be super important to keep off enemy sensors. The Terrapin has a large power plant and a shield generator, which makes you easier to detect as your shield's up and plant hot. Uh, you have no cargo space, can't carry much of anything of value, other than information, your shields and armor make you a pain to take down with solo. If a group wants, they can focus fire you, don't know, don't know why they'd want to. Not many good reasons to try and kill you, which really isn't a point in this ship's favor. I expect this ship to be an awful option for exploration or info running in solo play. Um, I expect this ship will be better in an organization setting with it being able to run risky situations, have a good chance of getting the pilot and crew out piece or last long enough to have the orgs in your backup. Uh, the main problem with the potential gameplay of this ship is you're going to need reinforcements or escape vectors nearby in local space to facilitate your character's survival. We know interdiction is going to be a thing, eventually, so I'm not confident that Terrapin can escape pursuit indefinitely from a persistent aggressor, which is why I call it a coffin. We really don't know how exploration gameplay is going to turn out. We have ideas. very interesting area for discussion, but until we start seeing some actual gameplay, uh, we really don't know how it's going to turn out or how enjoyable it's going to turn out, uh, other than just being a scavenger hunt, a very simple version of a scavenger hunt. Um, but really, the Terrapin really needs an environment where its thick shields and hard armor really come to its advantage. Imagining a volcanic world spewing large amounts of lava and debris into the atmosphere, or a very active asteroid belt with micrometeorites zooming all over the place, uh, or hell, even a really ancient minefield with malfunctioning mines. Uh, it's easy to imagine uses for this ship, but in reality, right now there are no in game systems that support its use. During the Gamescom 2016 demo, I was really hard pressed to think of a use for this ship. So it may be, I, I doubt even 3.0 uh, would see a use for this ship or any exploration ship. Uh, I'd be pleasantly surprised if you know they did some exploration gameplay elements in 3.0 by the end of the year. Unfortunately, though, you know it's still held back by its pledge price. I mean, I love the look of the ship, but you know I just don't got the money to throw out there for this kind of thing. 
it's going to be up to Sig to create a use for this vessel. Unless we have some super amazing threats or hazards that require a tough ship, I don't see a practical use for the Solo Explorer. Shields charging.
Collision near. 